All right, let's discuss replacing the EGR valve on a Ford 6 liter power stroke diesel. Now there's a couple different ways in which this could fail. See we've got the valve here, we've got a couple moving parts in here, and it could get stuck open with carbon. That could cause some drivability concerns as well as a uh, no start condition actually. Our particular valve today is stuck shut and setting a couple different trouble codes. So we're going to go ahead and replace this valve. Now there's just two 8 millimeter head bolts holding this in place. But the trick is there's going to be a lot of carbon built up on the shaft here and so we might have to use a little bit of extra effort to remove this. Now some people will use a special tool, sometimes you can twist it and get a pry bar under here or use a device called a lady slipper which is a, a kind of a hooked pry bar. So let's go ahead, remove our electrical connector, pull our two bolts out and let's see once how much effort it's going to take to get this thing out. All right, now we've got the electrical connector disconnected. We've got the bolts removed. Now let's try and get this thing out. So the first thing I'm gonna try is this pair of channel locks. And so we'll line it up and we'll first twist it a little bit, break the unit free. And then let's try and rock it back and forth and pull up on it. Now it's moving a little bit here and starting to kind of come up, but not very far. So one of the next things I'm gonna do is take this lady slipper. I'm going to try and work it underneath on both sides, work it back and forth, and try and get the unit up that way. There, by just popping on the one side, it broke it free. So as we pull this out, you can see this unit's not too carboned up, but it's actually cut the O-ring on the way out here. And now this one was actually stuck in the shut position due to just a little bit of carbon on there. So we're going to go ahead and replace it. We're going to make sure that all the carbon is cleaned out inside of here as well. Okay, now we've cleaned out the carbon in there. We've actually used the shop vac to clean out any chunks in there, make sure they don't get stuck in our new valve or even get passed along to the EGR cooler. And so, finished cleaning up the surface here, and now I'm going to take our new EGR valve and before I install it I'm going to take some clean motor oil and lubricate the o-rings here. Now I don't want to use the silicone grease because that could damage these particular o-rings. And so now that I've got it lubricated well I'm going to go ahead and slide this down into the hole and again we don't want to really force this in there because we've cleaned this up pretty well we should be able to slide this in all right, and we'll get it sealed down in place there. I'm gonna install my two bolts, make my electrical connection here again, and clear any codes that may have been set, and it's all set to go.